Hello, and welcome to Fake Podcast Name. In today's episode, we'll be covering the Western diet and its effects on our health. A diet is an eating pattern or habit which can restrict or include certain types of foods like carbohydrates or various kinds of meats. Now, the Western diet is high in saturated fats, red meats, and empty carbohydrates which you'd find in junk food or fast food, but it's also low in fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grain, seafood, and poultry. So it's very, very imbalanced. And this imbalance actually affects our physical and mental health. The high sugar intake that's associated with the Western diet actually lowers our white blood cell count. Now, white blood cells are what fights off our various diseases. And because we are lowering our white blood cell count with the Western diet, we're actually making ourselves more vulnerable to diseases like obesity or COVID-19. Now, mentally, it actually hurts our memory retention and it also affects our ability to restrain ourselves. There's a section in the hippocampus that actually becomes weakened off the Western diet. And this section is our, our self-control center. So by the more we eat off of this imbalanced diet, the more we want to eat off this imbalanced diet, which causes us to lose self-control and it just makes things worse. So how can we eat better? Well, there are a couple options. Uh, farmer's market, organic, grow your own food. Now, growing your own food is probably uh, the most fresh, if you will, option, as you have complete control over what you use, what kind of ground you're using, uh, if you're going to use pesticide, insecticide, anything like that. Whereas with farmer's markets, you have less control over it, but for the most part, these people uh, care about the produce as they do crop rotations to make sure that what they grow has all the proper nu nutrients. Um, the issues with it is the cost, and like we'll see from most of them, the cost is actually the biggest negative. If we look at organic, buying from like an organic market, we can see that the cost of organic food is actually more expensive than just buying from a regular grocery store. Now, this is because the Department of Agriculture re regulates what is considered organic. And because of that, you actually, as a producer, have to pay a fee to be inspected and certified as organic. Now, the organic label is just that, a label. You could go to a farmer's market, sell a organic produce without labeling it as organic. You're literally just paying for the name. But because of that, the prices are higher because we've got to pay the fees to be to label our produce as organic. Another option you could do is the home delivery meal kits. Now, these businesses can be like uh, Home Chef or Blue Apron, where they buy fresh produce, uh, portion them out, ration them out into portions, give you a, a menu or a recipe, if you will, and send it to your house. This is both convenient and generally healthy. They also have options to uh, pick your own diet. So you could do keto or vegan, for an example, and they'll send you meals appropriate for said diet. Now, it is expensive because you're practically paying for shipping, handling, packaging, and just all around convenience. So the price is... What you get for healthier is, and sadly, more expensive. So, with that said, 
in the end, a diet is just a habit or a pattern. It's not a conventional problem like a leaky boat. You can't just slap a sealant on it and have the problem fixed. You can, with, with a diet, you have resources to help improve improve it, but if you don't actually decide to, you won't get better. So with with that being said, the best answer to the Western diet is being aware of its effects and actually making a conscious choice to improve. Only you can control what you eat, unless you're not old enough to, and your mom, um, and your parents are still making meals, and then it's up to them. But without th with that being said, I hope you found something interesting, and keep your fork. The best is yet to come. I will see you later.